Hi, Lori, the armchair chef. Welcome to week three of my birthday food tasting. And this week, we are going to try birthday cake flavored protein bars and birthday cake flavored white chocolate. Great combination. So the first one is 21 grams of protein, a Quest birthday cake flavored bar. And the second one will be a pure protein. Birthday cake flavored bar. So let's get these open and see how they stack up to each other. I don't know, pure pro uh, this one's 21 grams. Normally don't buy either one of these, but I was looking for things that tasted like birthday cake because it is my birthday this month. And why not? I like to eat things. And so this way I can taste all these things and find out if I like them. And you can find out if I like them because I eat almost anything. So if I don't like it, it probably is pretty bad. So let's try the um, pure protein. Has little itsy bitsy sprinkles that are going everywhere on the outside. Let me break this open, see what it looks like. Oh, it's kind of gooey. It's kind of a thick layer of white chocolate. Kind of, uh, it looks kind of cakey inside, but not like a, a crummy cake, if you know what I mean, like the crumb. They talk about the crumb. Okay, let's try this. Mmm. Tastes like a pure protein bar. The texture, I have had the bars before. I don't buy them anymore, though. These would be okay. I mean, I would rather not get something that's got that much calories in it for a protein bar, but yeah, I mean, this is, if this was an option, I could, I would buy it. You know, it's got that protein flavor, but then it has the extra vanilla to add a little of the birthday cake into it. So, um, yeah, I'll probably save that and have that at work on my break. Let's try the Quest. Now, I never buy these. Um, oh, that was, what did I say? How much? That had 20 grams of protein. Three grams of something. Is that sugar? And 200 calories. This says four grams of net carbs, less than a gram of sugar. 14 grams of fiber, which makes the net carbs less. Doesn't mean there's not less sugar in it. Just means that the fiber supposedly cancels out the sugar. So you're still getting sugar. I don't see how you can justify saying, oh, well, it's got less sugar just because there's fiber in it. Because the fiber, there's still sugar in it. So anyway, but I guess that's chemistry. That's how they do it, to get you to eat it. So let's bust this one open and see what this looks like. Oh, this is like gooey. Look at that. I think I have probably had one of these at one point. That's kind of nice. It's flat. This is one that would make you me would be more filling. You know how you get the um, pure protein bars at Costco? Those long skinny ones that are really flat and they're kind of flexible and you really kind of have to chew them up good. I buy the generic Costco brand and they come in like um, cookies and cream and peanut butter and chocolate brownie and um, chocolate chip. That's kind of what this does. It sort of has that kind of texture, but it has like a coating of uh, this frosting over it. But it has that, that texture of like, you want to take small bites and chew it up because it's very dense. So this is something that might fill you up because it has all that fiber, make you feel full, which is what you want when you, when you have the weight loss surgery, when they do the sleeve, you want things that are going to make you feel full longer because your stomach's small. You can't eat a lot. So you get hungry more often 
So you want things that are going to kind of stick with you longer, a lot of protein and fiber. So yeah, this is, this is something that I do have on a break sometimes with a cup of coffee and, and it'll keep me, it'll, it'll be fine for a couple hours. So yeah, this is good. Still the, um, birthday cake flavor. Now we have nothing healthy. We have bunny Palmer bunny. One third of this is 150 calories. So yeah, definitely it's birthday cake flavor, colorful rainbow sprinkles. So let's uh, cut this up. See if it's any good. I love white chocolate. Last time I got something that looked like white chocolate was not white chocolate. And I was very disappointed. So I'm hoping this one actually is white chocolate. Last one was, uh, tasted like frosting. It was disgusting. So let's see. Hi, bunny. Bye, bunny. Huh? Huh? What'd you say? Can't hear. Mmm. Much better. More of a chocolate flavor. I'm not getting any birthday cake. I'm, I'm crunching on sprinkles and it's very sweet. So yeah, this is about enough to give a kid. I wouldn't give him more than this, but this is, it's okay. I don't see it melting because I don't think there's much chocolate in here. It's, it's one of those, like those, um, those oily type of, uh, chocolates, you know, that's, oh, what do I say? Oily kind of, um, I don't know, kind of a greasy chocolate. I, it's in the mold so it's probably that that tempered chocolate that, that they mold you know when you make your own and stuff but this is definitely more chocolate than that other thing was but i don't think of it as a melting chocolate that's what i think something that you can put in your mouth and it's going to melt and coat your mouth that's not what i'm experiencing so um yeah If I was so inclined, I could buy this again. I, I could eat this. Um, better than the cookie bites that I had uh, in, in a, a week ago. So let's set that aside. And thanks for watching. Stay tuned for my yarn giveaway, which is coming up. Stay tuned for my yarn giveaway that's coming up. And take a look at my other playlist. I have lots of things, lots of interest for lots of people. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Hi, it's Lori, the Armchair Chef. Welcome to my birthday giveaway. I'm so excited. I'm glad you came. And let's get started. And I will tell you what you're, what this, what's in this one. Okay, we're going to have cotton. This is going to be um, some cotton. So we have three skeins of O oh Baby Organic, number two, 180 yards each. And this is yellow. And this is the same thing. Oh, baby organic number two, 180 yards each in turquoise. Three of those. And again, oh, baby organic cotton number two, 180 yards each in coral or peach or pink, depending on what you think it is. It's more of a peach. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Okay, we have some re-up recycled cotton. This is a number four weight, 103 yards, and this color is azul. It, I'm leaving them in the bags because they were already in the bags. I didn't want to take them out. This is blues and greens and some whites. It's very pretty. And the next one would be bubble gum. Purple and pink, number four, 103 yards, cotton. And 
The last one is Cotton Candy. It's pink, and it looks like there might be a little string of orange in there. There's some pink. It's a number four, and it's also the re-up recycled yarn, or recycled cotton. And there's, that would be three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen balls of yarn, which would make it almost 2,000 yards of yarn. That's a lot. So, now we will look at the notions. First up, I have T. Well, I know that's not a notion, but sharing some tea. It's Twinings. It's black tea, caffeinated. Um, some English, Irish, Earl Grey and his wife, lady. Okay, that's black tea, caffeinated. The notepad and the pen with the different colors. The sheet of 13 stickers. This is grandma and it has yarn on it and thread and cookies. That's always fun. I use those to put on my packages um, when I mail them or cards when I when I give somebody a, a greeting card. And we have some snips. These are purple for your yarn to carry. It has a little cover on it so you don't uh, snip anything on accident. There's some needles. A set of 18. They have self-threading needle eyes. You see that? You just put the thread down the top and it automatically just threads it, which is nice. And then it has these other ones there. That was really cool. That sold me. I bought me some of those. And a hook. Another Yarnology luxury hook. This one's red. The size on this one would be a five. This is an H. So... What would I like you to say? Okay, do you make anything with cotton? I've kind of been afraid of cotton. Um, you know what? I did make something. Oh, I made something I can show you. I bought... I didn't know this was going to be a, a whip thing, but I bought these... This is that plastic stuff, that chain spun plastic stuff. And they, it was intended to be for scrubbies. So I bought some of this cotton with the uh, yellow in it to go with it. I thought, I'll try making one. So, uh -oh. so I did. I tried making a round one that kind of folds over and you can have a scrub and it's cotton so it dries out and I just used both of them together and did a double crochets in a circle so I don't know if that turned out any good or not um I haven't used it but the pattern I used sort of was like to do two of these together and then sew them together so it would be thicker I just did this one and I don't know this isn't any good. So what I'd like to know is, do you make anything with cotton? And um, what is it? Just do you use cotton? Or are you like me and never really fiddle with cotton too much? Okay. Thanks for watching. All the rules are down below. I'm going to hold comments um, and release them. So if you don't see them right away, that's why. But... Um, Go ahead and like, subscribe, and hit that bell because I've got more coming up. I have at least three more. Six in total that I know of. I may come up with some more yarn. But, um, so help me celebrate my birthday. Come back and enter to win more yarn. Okay? You can enter all of them. You may win. I am going to screen duplicates, but you only get one chance to win per video. But, um... So what do you think of my little scrubby? <laughs> yeah, it's a little rough. I might actually take it in the kitchen and try it. I was going to do my dishes. So, um, 
Maybe I'll let you know on one of my other videos how it works. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for coming to celebrate my birthday. Bye.